Good morning, everyone. Uh, yes, it's Lee here, um, and welcome to my golf life. I've decided that I'm just going to start vlogging my day-to-day -day life, really, um, when it's related to golf anyway. I'm not just going to vlog any old rubbish. Um, and just sort of take you on a journey of my life around golf. Um, some of you may like it, some of you may not. Uh, I'll continue to do golf product reviews, uh, the handicap battle, uh, whatever else, course vlogs. Um, but I've just decided to change it up a bit and just normally just do normal vlogs of my sort of life, really. Uh, so today, woke up at what time is it? It's quarter to nine. I was up about quarter to eight. Uh, and I'm just, today, I'm not at work, so I'm going to go down to the simulator and do some practice because for the last two weeks, I've been seeing my golf coach, who is Andy Welch, who's the head professional, in fact, the only professional at Whitsand Bay Golf Club. And he's just shown me things and got me to change things that I didn't even think I was doing. Um, at impact, I flick at the ball. So I'm instead of compressing the ball, I'm trying to flick it up in the air. Um, and didn't realize I was doing it because the swing's so quick. So when you slow my swing down, it explains why I get so much height. I mean, height isn't an issue. It's just how quickly it gets there. And I'm losing so much distance, which is why, you know, I was getting 130 yards on that Orca fitting video or um, I struggled to bet 100 yards with a pitch and went, you know, things like that. It's just mind-blowing so he's got me to do things now that feel weird um, and after an hour's training session I've got aches in places I didn't even know I had. I'm going to be doing that today um, and this is what this is it's just I'm just going to vlog my day-to-day -day life really um, and if you enjoy it you enjoy it if you don't then I can just apologize but it's just something I think I want to do for the channel. Uh, so this week is a busy week golf wise anyway I'm going to practice today uh, tomorrow. Alan's coming down on Thursday um, so we're going to go and do a course vlog on Thursday so that will be coming up and then Friday I have a league match uh, away at Trethorn. Uh, obviously I can't vlog that but there'll be pictures and uh, a daily vlog going up about it anyway. So yeah so today is a training practice day um, so I suppose I better get my ass to the shop and let's start doing some practicing. Now some of you have met Rosie who's my little princess at the shop but let me introduce you to the main man of the house and that is my little dog Bowser. And this is Bowser's. This is Bowser. Hello. Hello. Look at him. Knackered, bless him. So it's quarter to nine in the morning, and it had a hard day so far. I've been for a walk. You're not gonna say hello? No. No. What's he like? What is he like? Yeah, that's my little bosun. So yeah, bless him. He's a uh, our little boy, really. But yeah, it's gorgeous. Uh, so what else have we got? I'll show you my pets, actually. This one's Drago. He's our bearded dragon. Say hello. He is the laziest thing I've ever known. He'll probably stay there for the next 10 hours. That's all he does. Oh, he's moving. Say hello. <laughs> and then in here is our little Tommy. He's fast asleep. Tommy's our little tortoise. Um, he's fast asleep as well. Everyone's lazy this morning. What's wrong with people? Get up and start doing some work already. Anyway, better go. <laughs> so I arrived at work um, <clears throat> into the simulator and a few people have asked before if I can show them around the shop. So uh, yeah. Let's have a quick tour of the golf side of the shop anyway. So let's have a quick look around. Let's uh, make this a bit more better. So this shop is predominantly all about the simulator. So all we've done is you've just got a few bits in um, to sell alongside it. So there's a few Lacoste hoodies there. Um, and then waterproofs, uh, short tops, uh, Cleveland wedges there. 
Travel bag, balls, hats, um, more balls, and then a couple of push trolleys in here. Uh, then <clears throat> over here, we've got uh, some waterproofs, some more tops, uh, and some more hats. And then there's our orca fitting section. Um, you have to excuse the holes in the wall. Plasterboard is not good to drill things into. So we've got the shaft. Uh, wedges, shafts, driver, or the shafts for the woods and the irons. And up there, uh, we have the irons and one hybrid. Orca, golf's best kept secret. Then that's my bag. <coughs> uh, that's my Orca bag currently. Uh, still all tailor made because I'm waiting for my delivery to turn up. <coughs> that should be uh, Tuesday. And then we've got the demo wedges and the ball fitting. Uh, you have to excuse the mess, I've not cleaned it up to, since I came in. There's a gaming PC, uh, and then there is the simulator itself. It's uh, three meters high by three meters wide. So it's basically a square. Hitting mat is two different types. So this section here is to hit off, and this is the stance mat there. And then of course, what feeds it all? Skytrack. A little look around the simulator basically. It's not finished yet, um, still got things I want to do. Um, we're going to get a Strixon Cleveland fitting in next year. We were just a bit late to the party this year, so we're getting that in next year. Uh, yeah, so I better do some practice, I suppose, seeing as uh, that's why I've come down early uh, and show you what uh, I've been getting taught by Andy, really. But yeah, so after seeing my golf professional, basically what I'm doing is that impact, I'm like that. So I'm flicking the ball in the air and I'm getting absolutely no distance. So what he's told me to do is to widen my swing a bit more because I was getting really lean over. So I've got to widen it. And what that will hopefully do is bring the ball flight down a bit and get a better distance. That's the plan anyway. So there's a few shots with the 7-iron uh, hybrid and then I just, the problem with this new swing is I struggle with the longer clubs because I can't get used to trying to get over my right leg which is what he's trying to do um, but I find myself swaying a lot and I'm trying not to sway but when you've done something for the best part of 20 years trying to stop it is like nigh on impossible. Uh, but I've got another lesson on Thursday, the thing we're only working on at the minute is the backswing. So I kind of get to the top of the backswing and I then don't really know what to do. I'm kind of just hitting the ball. I know that's what you should do in golf, but I'm not, my body's not working correctly. So the launch angle is still quite high. Um, so I'm not getting the distance I could be. I mean, I tried ramping the speed up and I was getting the ball speed up quite nicely, but it just still wasn't clearing 150 with a what is a 30 degree seven iron. Um, it's just not acceptable really. Um, Good news is uh, my Orca irons should be here this week, which is amazing. I can't wait for them to turn up. So I'll do an unboxing when they get here. Um, and the rest of the week is, like I said, lesson, uh, golf with Alan. So there'll be a vlog coming out and then a league match. But I will be in the unit tomorrow, uh, just practicing my short game. Other than that, um, 
that's pretty much going to be me for today for this first vlog in my golf life um, I'm hoping to hear back from a few of the youtubers soon I'm going to try and get up north uh, and meet up with daddy Lily uh, and maybe a few others while I'm up there and at some point when uh, Big Oggy's uh, wife gets better and I wish her the best and hope she gets better soon uh, me and John are planning to do a course vlog at some point as well so some good things coming in the future but for now I'm going to sign off and say thanks for watching please comment below if you like this or you want more there will be more exciting things happening I suppose in my life or maybe not maybe I'm just boring hmm I wonder but otherwise thanks for watching speak to you soon